do with all stuffed animal production of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. Remember when we used to do Barbie episode or Barbie shows? Yeah, but would... that's different. You but you have to move each one individually. But we each have two hands. There's not that many characters. Or we could get Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal then for our stage bugs. Winnie the Pooh, we could have all the kids like hold up the stuff. Oh my animals. gosh, that would be really <laughs> cute. Okay, let's do him. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to our episode about nothing. We didn't talk about what we're talking about today, so right now we're talking about stuffed animals. Um, but we were going to- I could say a lot of things about stuffed animals. I know, we could do an episode about stuffed animals. But I kind of think we should do our episode that we were talking about earlier. Of, okay. So, you know how usually I start the episode by saying- it's Aspen, the better half of the Summer's Twins, and then Ashley says, It's Ashley, the best half of the Summer's Twins. And I sound exactly like that. Uh-huh. Well, today you are about to find out that I am the good twin, and Ashley is the evil twin. Yeah. We have to put a disclaimer. If anybody here is listening who is a cop or an or, FBI agent or has any legal authority or is a first grade substitute teacher, <laughs> please turn this off right now otherwise please enjoy why ashley is going to get arrested we everyone we all think you are the evil twin so it's kind of funny that i have all these bad girl stories i know because i don't know why i've literally never done anything bad (laughs) (laughs) we might have to do another episode about you Uh, It's only fair. You got in a car accident, and you do a lot of illegal things when we're driving. Okay, the car accident wasn't my fault at all, so... (laughs) Ashley, I stopped at a red light and someone rear-ended me. (laughs) Even if you were a better driver, they might not have. (laughs) Also, going 10 miles an hour, you would have made it through before it turned red. (laughs) Um, okay. (laughs) And that is true that I have done a couple of legal things while we're driving, but that's because sometimes I forget when you're supposed to turn left, or I think there's a driveway out of a parking lot, and it turns out to be the sidewalk. So you're just stupid. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm stupid, but Ashley's illegal things are intentional. Well... Okay, sometimes. Should I start with the, should I start with the um chair story or should I make that one last? Because that's the bad one. <laughs> no, you should start with it. <laughs> okay. This this is my like this is not the rest of them are actually bad, but this one she thinks makes her a bad girl. This is my go to story when people because if you don't know us very well, we're kind of known as like goody two shoeses. <laughs> shoeses. <laughs> yeah. Because shoes is already plural, so if you, like, you don't say someone is a goody two-shoe, you say someone is a goody two-shoes, so I guess I'm just trying to figure out what would the plural be. Goodies (laughs) two-shoes? Yeah, like Coles de Sac? Yeah. Okay, so people think of us as goodies (laughs) two-shoes, and this episode is probably gonna be bad for me, because half the people who listen to it are gonna think I'm really not cool and the other half are gonna think I'm like a really bad person (laughs) well there might be a happy medium yeah okay anyways so this this is always my go-to story about like bad things that I've done so in elementary school I never did anything wrong because I was kind of a teacher's pet and also I was terrified of having to flip a card or pull a stick or whatever the things that your teachers would make you do when you did something wrong, which didn't really mean anything, but I was just really afraid of having to do it. Like, I didn't want it to go on my permanent record, and I was proud of being the kid who had never flipped a card. (laughs) Um, Flipping cards, we could, we should do an episode about school punishments, because that that, still stresses me out. Yeah, it was really stressful. Like, I don't know what we thought was going to happen, but... (laughs) It was going to be the end of the world if we ever flipped a card. Because if you flip a card once, then all of a sudden you're not, like, the one who never flipped a card. Because now you flipped a card, so now you're just part of the oi polloi of kids who do bad things at school. I was going to say, if you don't know what flipping a card is, it was this awful punishment (laughs) where you would have three cards, every student had three cards, a green card, a yellow card, and a red card, and you started the day on green. And then if you did something bad, you had to flip a card and then you would like 
put the green card in the back and you'd go to yellow. And then if you flipped a card again, you'd go to red. And then you had these like sheets where you'd color in each day what color card you had. And then at and the end of the week, you had to bring it home and get it signed by your parents. It was very stressful. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, what I was saying was, <laughs> in so this one time in first grade, which I wouldn't recommend this because people are always mean to substitute teachers, but I was six. So we were doing this project and we had a substitute and we were supposed to be working with partners and I was working with this girl who, let's see, I need a name for her. I was working with Elizabeth and we sat next to each other. So a lot of kids had to like turn their chairs to face their partner, but we didn't because we sat next to each other. And then when we were done with the project, then our substitute said, okay, time's up, turn your chairs around. And so Elizabeth and I turned our chairs backwards so we were facing the back of the classroom <laughs> even though obviously we knew that she meant only turn your chair around if you weren't facing the front so that was my bad thing <laughs> that's her claim to evilness yeah but it that just it that sounds like oh my gosh that's the dumbest thing ever like who cares that you did that it was pretty bad cause, but because i knew what she meant I was just being a little rebel. Yeah, but then this started the spiral of her naughtiness. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. There are so many things. Okay, so I've done a couple of legal things when I was driving because in Colorado, when you get your driver's license, you're not allowed to drive somebody else, like a passenger who's not a sibling or an adult, until you've had your license for six months. But... For our 16th birthday, our cousins came to visit, and our little cousins and Aspen were at the playground, which is like two a two-minute walk away from our house, so it's really close. It's less than a quarter mile. Yeah, but I was, I don't know what I was doing, but I was still at our house, and then I was leaving, and I was going to drive there because my mom and I were going to take the car to the grocery store after we were done at the playground. So this is the first time she's driving by herself after we got Yeah, it was like the day I got my driver's license. And so I was driving the car to the playground, and then I was about to leave, and then my cousin JJ came over, and he was like, can I come with you? And so I was like, well, we should just walk because I'm not allowed to drive. But he was like, it's only a couple blocks, and... We were just in our neighborhood, so there wasn't really that much danger, and I didn't want to be, like, the super uncool cousin who wouldn't just drive him. So then I was like, okay. So then I drove him to the playground, even though that was illegal. Tisk tisk tisk. <laughs> I know. Okay, I kind of need to take back what I said, because I was like... This is going to make you seem like the evil twin, but actually I only think one of these stories is, like, super illegal. I can't even remember. What was- the, wasn't there something else I did with the car? I feel like- I mean, I've sped a couple times when I'm running late. Which never <laughs> happens. Yeah. I think I ran a red light the other day, except I'm also pretty sure I dreamt it, because it was, like, really red and I went through it. So I'm 99% <laughs> sure I dreamt that. Okay. Then the next thing that I did was, um, <laughs> and I can't remember any of them. This is just a list of all the bad things you did. Well, this wasn't illegal, but, um, when I did your homework for you in high when school. When did you do my homework We had this conversation the other day. Okay, I'll tell the story. So, in maybe junior year, what year did you take your health class? Oh, sophomore year. Okay, so when we were sophomores in high school, um, you have to understand that Ashley and my mom have this curse curse where they just can't get things done productively sometimes. Well, I, I should explain the curse. Okay. Okay, because it's not a purposeful thing. It's just like a little curse where like you go to do something that should take five minutes and then through no fault of your own, it ends up taking, like, an hour because something doesn't work or somebody's not available or it's, they don't have something in stock or whatever. So it's not our fault. It really is a curse. Even though Ashley and I would have the same amount of homework pretty much every night in high school, not I would usually... Me. I always had more. No, that is not mm -hmm. true. Anyway, we 
actually did have pretty much the same amount of homework. But I would usually finish in three or four hours, and Ashley would be up all night doing her homework, like, pretty much every night. Sometimes she would just, like, get in these fits of stress, and I would be done with my homework, and so I would be like, what can I do to help you? And usually she'd be like, I think just leave me alone. She does actually sound like that. I never did that, (laughs) Aspen. (laughs) Right. We're just making up lies. I know. But sometimes she would have something I could help her with. So she was in this fitness class, and I have no idea why this was part of the curriculum, but they had to make these, like, dating profile PowerPoints and then, like, present them in their class. And she, would like, thought it was really stupid, and she she had so much other homework. So one day she was like, will you just do my presentation for me? So I just made her whole dating profile presentation and then she turned it in like she did it, but I did it. And I think there was a few times where I did her fitness class homework, but that was like the big one. Like I did the whole project. No, you didn't. I had already done most of it. No. I'm going to find it because I'm pretty sure I had already done most of it and I just needed help with like formatting it or something. No. Mm, No, I was not a cheater. I wouldn't have. No, we just had this conversation and you were like, oh yeah, I did do that. Now you're rescinding your admission (laughs) of guilt. No, I, I let you help with it, but I didn't make you do the entire project. She also, this wasn't as bad, but in elementary school, we would have to, when we would write stuff, we would have to like handwrite it and then we would type it to turn it in. And um, there was a few assignments where the minimum requirement would be, like, two typed pages. And one time she wrote 37 typed pages. No, it was 36. Whatever. (laughs) So she would make my parents, not make them, but, like, my parents would end up having to type her whole thing for her because she would spend so long writing it that she didn't have time to type it. That's not entirely true. First of all... Most kids' parents do projects for them or help them with their projects in elementary school. And what happened was we would have these assignments where you had to write, like, short stories, but I would have these grand ideas for my stories, and they didn't fit into two pages, so they would just be really long. But you had to have, like, a handwritten rough draft and a typed draft, and so it would take me a long time to write, obviously, to handwrite 36 pages. And then it would be like the night that it was due and I was still working on typing it because we had to type it all at home because we didn't have computers at school. And so then my parents would offer to help. I wouldn't make them help. And they would type like we would I wouldn't like go to bed. I would help them. But we would all just be like typing up sections of it. No, I wasn't saying that's why I said it wasn't as bad because I do think most parents help, but I also do think you would go to bed and then they would stay up. No, and... I remember staying up late and finishing it, okay. like reading till it was done. Okay. But also, mom and dad, will you comment and yeah. tell us what actually happened? <laughs> but also, the requirement was two typed pages or four or whatever, and I typed four pages at least. So the rest was just. I wasn't criticizing you for that. I. Also, I was just sharing that that was another thing that you did because okay. you were trying to think of things yeah. and then I'm giving you stuff and then you're just defending yourself. So you're well, not really doing very good. I'm sorry. But I wish I could remember the other... Th- the, there was one other bad thing that's not on the list, but there was one other bad thing I did with the car or something. I know, there was something that you did. Oh, why can't I remember? That was, like, really crossing the line. Okay, well, I'll talk about the stealing thing first, and then... Yeah, because this is the actual bad one. Okay, so, at our school, at our college, they have this little marketplace where you can buy really overpriced things, and so I was an RA last semester, and the RAs get, like, an allotted amount of meal swipes into the dining halls, and then you get dining dollars is what they're called and you can use them at like the on-campus restaurants or the on-campus marketplaces to buy food and so at the end of the semester I had a lot of dining dollars left and so I was just like stocking up on snacks and whatever from the marketplace to spend them and so one time I was getting these quest protein bars which were like five dollars for one protein bar which was ridiculous way overpriced 
But anyways, I was getting those among other things. And I was at the self-checkout because they also, all the checkouts were self-checkout. And so, and like people would steal from there all the time. They would just be like putting stuff in their backpack. Yeah, like I once saw like, somebody open their backpack and just like pour a whole bucket of oranges into it and leave. Yeah, but I wasn't, I wasn't a thief normally. <laughs> but this one time I was checking out and I had all this stuff and I scanned the Quest protein bar and I had two of them, but I only scanned once. And then I was like finishing checking out. And then I realized that I only had scanned the bar once. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then I like finished checking out and then I left. And then I was like, what was I thinking? I didn't pay for that. <laughs> so then I was really stressed out about it because I knew before I finished checking out that it had only scanned once. And so I literally stole, but then I went back and I bought another one and I scanned it twice and paid for it. So I made it okay. Yeah. Okay. I remember it wasn't with the car, but right like a couple weeks after that, you continued your thievery. What? What did I do? All the stuff you stole on the Disney cruise. Oh, well, that's free. You're allowed to no! take it. What? Ashley was like, if you've ever seen that episode of Friends where Ross steals all this stuff from the apartment, we went on a Disney cruise for Christmas this year, and she stole so many towels. And no, cups. I took no, one no, towel. No, there's, there's two. I will, I will go get them no, right now. No, it was one. Well, then that was an accident, or someone else stole no, it. No, because you stole one, a little, like, hand towel, and then you stole a big... No, I definitely didn't steal a big towel. Well, we have one that has Mickey on it. Okay, well, I didn't steal that one. Anyway, the story is that we were on the Disney cruise, and the last day, Ashley was, like, looking at all of the cute stuff with Mickey on it, and was like, we need all this stuff. So she just snuck some Disney towels into our suitcase from our room, and then we were at the buffet where you get breakfast, and she took some cups with the cups that had, like, the Mickey Mouse all over it. She just took some and took no. them home with us. <laughs> that is not how it happened. Yes, you're, it is. You're allowed to take that stuff. No, you're not. Yes. The towels are, like, the shampoo. You can take them. No. Yes. And I only took, I took one hand towel because it was really cute and you're allowed to take it. And the glasses, I didn't steal them from the buffet. We had taken them from the buffet because we had filled them up with at the breakfast buffet they had like dried fruit and stuff and so we had filled them up with the dried fruit and taken them back to our stateroom because you are allowed to do that and yeah but then you're supposed to leave the cups for the cleaning people to take well they have so many cups and i only took two of them but if every passenger takes two cups then Disney is spending a lot of money. To, yeah, but and Disney doesn't need more money. It's but that's, okay. But then their bill goes up, and then that's the reason why they keep raising their prices, and then people can't afford to go to Disney anymore, all because you stole all their cuts. Okay, well, when we were on the Disney cruise, I still had all my stomach problems, so I didn't get to eat a lot of the food, so I think that my two glasses, I, I accounted for how much they spent on the plastic cups by all the things that I didn't get to take advantage of that they would have otherwise spent money on. Okay, but at the time when it happened, you were all like, oh my gosh, I'm so bad, I stole this stuff, and then we're literally doing a podcast episode about all the- I didn't say that! Let me finish talking! We are literally doing a podcast episode about all of the bad things that you do, and you're just sitting there defending yourself and saying that's not how it happened and you didn't do anything bad and it was okay. So you're really ruining the episode. You're allowed to steal that no, stuff. No, you're not. This is just turning into an episode of how mean Aspen is. She just keeps yelling what? at me. <laughs> because earlier today I was like, what do you want to talk about in our next episode? And she's like, I want to do the Ashley getting arrested episode. And now there was another funny thing that I can't remember. Okay. Okay. This is a bad thing. Um, okay. I don't know if I should say this. Um, okay. Now if you're an FBI agent, really turn this off. Um, so if you read my last blog post, well, maybe not my last at the time this is going to come out, but my blog post about all my medical issues, I'm having all these medical issues and 
like taking all these drugs and <laughs> don't worry i didn't sell my drugs so. <laughs> but when my grandpa they're was not like, illegal drugs either they're all prescription drugs like, yeah i think everyone knows that well, you were just like <laughs> i've been taking all these drugs i've been taking all these prescribed medications <laughs> from my physician <laughs> Um, but they weren't really helping, and I was just, like, really miserable, so one time, my parents went to a dispensary and got me these marijuana patches, which are legal, like, it's legal in Colorado to use if you're 21 or if you have a medical marijuana card, but I am not 21, and at the time, I was still living in LA, and I didn't take them back to LA, I used them when I was home, but I didn't have health insurance like in Colorado well I probably my insurance probably did work in Colorado so I'm not making any cares. sense <laughs> yes they do but my, I didn't have a, really a doctor in Colorado so I couldn't really get a medical marijuana card so my parents bought these for me but then I technically wasn't legally allowed to use them and I did I never considered myself a pothead but here we are <laughs> oh. yeah. but actually I only use them like once a week but Okay, so then the other thing I did, which was not really illegal, it, but we were on the Disney cruise, and um, this one day I was just, like, really sick, and we got off the boat in the Bahamas, which in the Bahamas you can buy alcohol if you're 18, and um, I, for the people out there who are, like, my age and think that it's really uncool that I haven't bought alcohol before, no one would ever believe that I was 21, so it's not, I mean, not that I would, but, like, I can't have a fake ID or anything. So, anyways, you can buy alcohol when you're over 18, and so we went to this liquor store, and I bought a bottle of rum, and then, but then this was illegal, because I don't think you're allowed to drink it on the Disney cruise, but, like, my parents brought it back on the cruise, and then I drank some of it, and, well, I drank, like, she drank one sip and then freaked out about how gross it was. I didn't freak out. I just didn't want any more because it was disgusting. But it was really kind of anticlimactic because you're making this big deal about her buying alcohol for the first time. And then she like went up to buy it and the lady didn't even ask for her ID. And then my dad said something about it and she was like, I don't care how old you are as long as you give me money. Mm -hmm. But then we were walking along the street and there was somebody giving out samples of rum cake and we went up to try it and they were like you have to be 18 but um spoiler alert for anyone who thinks they want to try rum cake and hasn't it doesn't really taste very good I mean I guess if you really like the taste of rum maybe that's what it tastes like I had never had rum before but I thought it made me want to throw up <laughs> so yeah I don't recommend it wasn't it. great I think it, it kind of ruins the cake. Yeah. But this, her buying alcohol and then all the stuff she stole on the Disney cruise and her theft at the marketplace on campus all happened within like a two week period. So that's why she kind of has, and the marijuana patches. So that's why I'm kind of on a bad girl shoot. Yeah. But then yesterday, I was shooting a film yesterday and I needed to dress like an angsty teenager and I was looking in my closet for bad girl clothes and I did not have anything. So I borrowed all my clothes from Aspen. So I think that tells you. But the clothes that she borrowed was a leather jacket that I have from seventh, or not seventh grade, because I didn't go to seventh grade, but a leather jacket I had from like eighth grade that was part of, Target used to do this Disney collection of like Disney inspired clothes so it was part of their like descendants line and it had ruffles on the bottom yeah um, but you had a leather jacket and I didn't end up wearing that oh okay I wore that jean jacket with the gray sleeves oh that is my rebel outfit <laughs> yeah. that's pretty much the only rebel outfit we have in our house yeah like, both of us we wear both it. have headshots in it because yeah. that's our only bad girl <laughs> it's really really rebellious yeah oh but I've never done this, but I feel like I'm kind of, like, turning into a thief because I, every time I go into a movie theater, I just think, you know, you could just buy a ticket to one movie and then you're already in the theater so no one would know if you went into, like, five other movies. Yeah, I'm sure people do that. But you but shouldn't do Yeah, that. don't do that. Because our favorite... Oh, we should have talked about this on our Bad Luck episode. Our favorite movie theater is closing. Uh-huh. So you shouldn't do that and then make movie theaters closed. 
Oh, but the other thing we've both done. <laughs> okay, if you work at USC, turn this off. Yeah. <laughs> we are like serial kleptomaniacs <laughs> at our on-campus dining halls. <laughs> because they charge you so much per meal swipe, but you're not supposed to take food. Well, you used to not be allowed to take food out of the dining halls. And they force you to buy these meal swipes. Yeah. You don't have a choice. So it wasn't like we would steal a bunch of stuff, but like when you're a college student, you're really pressed for money. And like it was just when it's just you eating your food, like I'm not going to go through a whole loaf of bread before it goes bad. So we would just kind of wrap up a slice of bread in a napkin when we went. And then we had the, our bread for the next day. And but some, then it got a little bit worse. <laughs> Yeah, so it started out with that, but then or you were allowed to take one piece of fruit, but we would take, like, three or four. Because fruit is expensive, yeah. and you got to eat healthy. But then, as we got better at this, then we would sometimes bring Ziploc bags and fill them with vegetables so that we weren't buying vegetables that were going bad. But, okay, so it sounds really bad, but Everyone first of all, it. yeah, everybody did it. Which I know doesn't excuse it, but I'm just saying, like, it's not like it was just us. And we were just good at it because we never got caught. Yeah, but also they charged, like, $16. Like, it would come out to, like, $16 a meal swipe. And we are five feet tall, and we are not very large people. So we probably ate, and we're vegetarian, so we didn't eat the meat. So we probably ate, like, a dollar's worth of food every time we went and you had to buy 40 meal swipes a semester and we only ever used like 12 of them so they weren't losing any money yeah. off of us it's not like we stole like backpacks full of food also hardly anyone even ate the vegetables from there they were always brown and like rotten because no one ate them so yeah. it was okay really we could probably sue for all of the uh, stomach problems that we got from bad food yeah. so instead we're just collecting alimony but yeah. now <laughs> now they have this program where you can get a to-go meal container and you can fill it up and take it out of the dining hall so now I mean I'm not at school right now but once they implemented that program then I would just go and fill the container with whatever I needed rather than taking it illegally yeah. All right, well, stay tuned for the episode of all the bad things that Aspen's done, because I'm sure there's some, and we have to get back at her. If you've ever done anything illegal or semi-illegal, please tell us in the comments. Also, please vote on if you think that you are allowed to steal the towels from Hotel One Slash towel. Disney Cruises or not. Thanks for listening and join us next week for another exciting episode of Twinspiration. And make sure to subscribe. Bye! Bye.